Hello guys, this is Jagan from Capital Zone. Recently people asked the question, Jagan you are doing an intraday and short struggle. So you talked about uh, inverted short struggle, short guts and positional. Sh shall we do the, the same thing for intraday? Will it make any difference? Yes, there is a difference between short guts with respect to the positional and short cut with respect to the intraday. Okay. But as I said, a deep in the money short cut is not useful whether it is going to be intraday or positional that is fixed okay but this is called the tight shortcuts so what is that actually very simple okay so regular sh short what is short strangle selling a for otm call and for otm put a short strangle what is shortcuts selling for otm call and for otm in the money okay selling for in the money op call option for uh, uh for itm call option for itm put option is called uh sorry it is going to be deep in the money call and deep in the, uh, out of the money put then it is called uh, it is a short guts but with the tight one we are going to do only the little item okay so it is not deep in the money it is just in the money option and just in the money call in the money put so that's called short guts or inverted short strangle you can say but inverted short strangle if you take it very deep it is not going to really work and we are going to make it very tight so how are we going to get a results? So are we going to get a nice profit? Uh, let's see it. So I'm not comparing with the short straddle. I'm comparing with the short straddle, okay? Because it is closest to the short straddle. It is not closer to the short straddle because they are going just in the money. It, we are not going deep in the money, right? So self OTM call and OTM put bank nifty as 38 and say for example you are selling call and put 100 rupees 100 rupees let's assume that it is going to be expiring and effective margin is 2 lakhs if you are selling any options and the premium you are collecting is a 5000 so the total margin you are going to pay is going to be 2 lakh 5000 so the margin blocking is always simple the margin needed to sell option plus the premium collected totally put together you need to give it today okay tomorrow they will give but for intraday there is no other concept of giving the premium tomorrow so you need to pay today and you need a square of today so two lakhs five thousand is the margin you need to pay so tight shortcuts in intraday how what is that okay so for example bank nifty is 38 okay you are going just to 200 rupees in the money okay so 37 800 call and 30 8 200 put in oops in upside and 37 800 in downside in downside you are selling call how much in the money 200 rupees okay and the effective margin is again 2 lakhs but the premium you are collecting is little high because if going in the money now so 200 rupees in the money plus the premium value let's put this one as a 300 how the 300 is coming 200 is the intrinsic value and 100 is the time value that we have got it some time back right example okay so 300 300 so call and put 600 into 25 so close to 15k you are collecting whereas uh, whereas with the uh, uh, short shuttle right we are collecting 5000 rupees premium so totally 2 lakhs plus 15,000 you need to pay 2 lakhs 15,000 here we are collecting a little bit higher premium we are not collecting the huge premium with inverted short guts that we have seen it for positional we are collecting the huge premium because we are going deep in the money okay all right so are they same yes margin is same almost same other than the premium and break even is same yeah good and risk and reward is same yes true if you don't do any adjustments if you don't put any stop loss the risk and reward everything is same and risk is high and reward is also high profit is also high how because we are going to place a stop loss this i will explain later how so with the respect to the positional right everything is same profit is same loss is same break even is same but with, when it comes to intraday we are going to place a stop loss so you know 920 straddle the 30 percent stop loss or 1 pm straddle 30 percent stop loss how the risk and reward will increase or decrease with respect to the inverted short guts so that's what we are going to see today but it is not same as the po positional one it is different because we are going to place a stop loss in intraday whereas with the positional we are not going to place the stop loss so how so margin is little high when you enter true because you are collecting uh, 10,000 rupees extra 
so the margin is slightly high but it is not a big deal at all because it's going to be intra day only it's not so high liquidity is not so poor because you are going 200 rupees in the money i am planning to go only 100 rupees in the money so liquidity wise for expiry near to wednesday and thursday liquidity is super duper so it's not a big deal at all it's not so poor like what we see it in positional okay and free trades are common we have to be very very uh, careful but nowadays actually uh, exchange had removed that free trade so nothing to worry and sl can jump because you are dealing with indi money options due to the liquidity problem it can jump so we have to be really really careful right so risk and reward ratio for expiry so let's check it actually how it does okay and no sl hits say for example market is 38 so let me explain this and then okay Say for example, you are selling 38 call and put 100 rupees, 100 rupees. Let's take it a 20% uh, 20 stop loss. Example, okay. So, and then the next one is, this is regular short shuttle. This is short guts, okay. How? So, 37 800 call you are selling and 38 200 put you are selling so this one 300 rupees 300 rupees the same 20 percent stop loss so 20 percent stop loss it's here 120 120 and here it is going to be stop loss is going to be 360 360 okay very simple okay and uh, out of which the time value for this one is 100 rupees so as i said this is 200 rupees itm this is also 200 rupees itm so literally literally right the itm value for the shortcuts the net itm value is going to be zero right if no sl hit okay here also we are going to make 200 rupees profit here also you are going to make a 200 rupees profit why because 300 300 600 rupees actually you'll be collecting but 400 rupees you need to give it back so 200 rupees 200 rupees is the profit if both the sl is not hit so it's going to be profit as going, going to be same double sl hit okay so for example this it hit the call and it hit the put so 20 rupees 20 rupees the loss is going to be 40 rupees 100 rupees 100 rupees we sold 20 percent is the stop loss so 20 rupees is a stop loss 20 rupees 20 rupees it's going to be 40 rupees right with the short guides 300 rupees is a sold one and 360 is the stop loss so 60 plus 60 it is going to be 120 here 100 rupees so 20 plus 20 it is 40 here it is 300 plus 360 i mean the stop loss is 360 60 plus 60 it is going to be 120 okay and one side stop loss is it okay so either side okay let's assume that market trended really well so one side stop loss is hit in one side you will get a 20 rupees loss in one side you will get a 20 rupees loss and other side you are going to make 100 rupees profit so thus you are going to get 80 rupees profit 80 rupees profit with the normal short straddle this is a normal short straddle this is a shortcut it's not a proper shortcuts it's a tight shortcuts and look at this when one side stop loss is hit here here you are going to make 60 rupees loss let's assume the market is trended really well here you are going to make 300 rupees profit so totally put together you are going to make 240 rupees profit so this is what you are making here and it, it may not be visible here then you can see it here 60 rupees is one side loss other side is 300 rupees so totally put together 240 rupees is the profit so when no sl hit there is no difference at all when double sl hit you are getting double the loss sorry triple the loss when single side sl is hit actually you are getting triple the profit so with the short guts what is really happening 
with no SL, there is no uh, issue at all. Risk and reward ratio is same. With the double SL and single SL, the risk and reward ratio is same. But, but it is getting elevated. So if you are getting 20, 40 rupees profit, 40 rupees. So, if you are getting 40 rupees loss here, you are getting 120 rupees loss here. If you are getting 20 rupees profit, if you are getting uh, 80 rupees profit here, you are getting 240 rupees profit here. So, it is increasing by 1 is to 3. Okay, so that is the advantage. Okay. But, which is good? In long run, which one will make a profit? Okay, that's a question. Okay, in my opinion, in some scenarios actually uh, short guts will make a better solution in some scenarios short shuttle will give a better results okay it based on some day based on some date some stop, stop loss okay so it is not true that actually you should always use a tight short uh, tight short guts so tight short guts may give a huge drawdown you have to be really careful about this short uh, tight short guts because the loss is huge and it can give a huge loss as well so you have to be really careful but I use this one. I started using this uh, tight short guts in recent times with the R&D. Okay, in the last 10 days, I found something very interesting, which I am planning to execute right away. And in which actually we make a huge profit than a short shuttle. But it is not always true. Okay, so if you are, say for example, if you are doing a 10 short shuttle in intraday, maybe one or two we can do with the uh, uh, short guts. And uh, I hope this video is really useful. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back with one more video soon. Thank you.